Our story begins not in a gleaming laboratory, but in the deep, dark past of our own species. Long before the written word, long before great cities rose from the dust, our ancestors were the world's first chemists. They did not have names for the processes they controlled, nor theories to explain them. They simply observed, they learned, and they transformed their world. It all started with a flicker of light and a burst of heat. Fire. This single discovery was perhaps the greatest chemical reaction ever harnessed by humankind. It provided warmth against the biting cold, a way to make food safer and more nutritious. This was chemistry in its purest, most intuitive form. From the embers of these ancient fires, another discovery emerged. Our ancestors found certain rocks, heavy and strange, that behaved differently in the heat. When these colorful stones were placed in the intense heat of a kiln, something magical happened. A gleaming liquid would seep out, cooling into a new, hard, and wonderfully useful material. This was the birth of metallurgy. Copper, bronze, iron, these metals changed everything. As civilizations grew, so too did our curiosity. The practical chemistry of the ancient world slowly gave way to a more mystical and ambitious pursuit. This was the age of alchemy. It flourished in the great intellectual centers of the world. The alchemists were part philosopher, part mystic, part proto-chemist. At the heart of their quest were two extraordinary goals. The first was the transmutation of base metals, like lead, into noble ones like gold. This required a legendary substance known as the Philosopher's Stone. This mythical catalyst was said to be the key, the one ingredient that could unlock the secrets of matter. The second great ambition was even more profound. They sought the secret to eternal life. This quest led them down countless strange paths. They distilled herbs, boiled minerals, studied the stars, believing that the cosmos and the human body were inextricably linked. Their laboratories were filled with strange glassware, bubbling concoctions, and cryptic texts. Though their ultimate goals were rooted in mysticism, the alchemists made invaluable contributions to our story. The world was changing. A new spirit of inquiry, of skepticism, of logic began to sweep across Europe. This was the Age of Enlightenment. Old ways based on mysticism and ancient authority were being challenged. They sought to understand the world not through secret symbols, but through careful observation. New pioneers began to measure. They used sensitive scales to weigh reactants and to weigh products afterward. Measurement was revolutionary. It brought precision and rigor that alchemy lacked. This quantitative approach unlocked laws governing matter. A new science needed a new language. Alchemist texts used poetic confusing names, oil of vitriol, spirit of salt, a clear system of naming.